India donates first 500,000 doses of vaccine to Sri Lanka. Here's a summary of the article. Colombo, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka's president on Thursday welcomed the first 500,000 doses of a COVID-19 vaccine from India, which has donated the shots to eight countries in the region. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine was manufactured by the Serum Institute of India. Sri Lanka said 150,000 health workers and 115,000 selected military and police troops will be the first to be inoculated at six hospitals in Colombo and its suburbs. Advertisement – India's donation covers 250,000 people and Sri Lanka is making efforts to obtain more vaccines, either through donation or by purchasing them. The country has ordered 2 million doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine and is planning to order 3 million more from India. India has played the role of the first responder in the region, India's foreign ministry said in a statement, as President Gotabaya Rajapaksa received the first batch of vaccines at the airport. India's rival China on Wednesday announced it would provide 300,000 shots of its own vaccine Sinopharm next month after procedures are completed on both sides. This post received a score of 15,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. India also donated 1 million vaccines to Nepal as well. What a fucking boss move. The boss move would be stop killing the poor Kashmiri people. Unfortunately, countries aren't monoliths. Just look at America. They are providing so much aid to poor and oppressed countries' peoples, while at the same murdering civilians with drones in other countries. They are spending billions on expanding healthcare to their poor, while 40% of Americans support a fascist coup attempt. Greater than spending billions on expanding healthcare to their poor not very effectively. Got to say, the capability of the Indian pharma industry is very very impressive. The main company moved hard and fast, licensing the Oxford vaccine back in May time. What I didn't realize at the time was that the Serum Institute is the largest vaccine provider in the world. Serum's backup plan was Novavax, so there's some capacity held for that as well. Novavax is probably going to get the go-ahead soon too. That's pretty decent of them. Shame more countries aren't doing it. I am very appreciative and grateful that India sends us very much needed vaccines, but as a Sri Lanka I know for a fact that some of these vaccines would go to our shit politicians and their family, and even though our government says that 300 00 of these vaccine would go to frontline workers and no amount of influence and power can be able to take these vaccine for personal but it's just a promise and promises here aren't virtually worth anything. That's what you call practical diplomacy. Also makes fucking sense. If you are fully vaccinated and your trade allies aren't, then your industries that depend on their exports will be hit too. If India was importing steel from Sri Lanka to make cars, it's India's car industry would be fucked if Sri Lanka's population couldn't work. It just makes a whole load of sense for everyone to share and vaccinate ASAP. Enough of the dog in the manger attitude the US had been displaying until last month. EU looks to UK with doe eyes. Greater than EU looks to UK with doe eyes. This was literally the AS vaccine as well. India donated the vaccines to many countries like Brazil, Nepal, Myanmar, Bhutan, Mauritius, Bangladesh. Not just Sri Lanka. Thank you India. May you become a hopeful example to other countries. Much love from the Netherlands. Love your beautiful country. Love from India. Hope you can visit us once this hellstorm is over. Hey India, this is awesome. Keep it up. Oh by the way, can you send some over here to CA? We are suffering and government has no clue what they are doing. S. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.